Welcome to Tinkercad, where I'm going to design the flower splint to save Mother's Day. You heard that right. I saved Mother's Day with 3D printing. If you want to hear that full story, check out the video above that goes into depth about that story. This video is going to be a detailed screencast of how I designed the flower splint in Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a great program because it starts with primitives that you drag out and it's a low barrier to entry and you can easily design something this simple quickly. So I dragged out this cube and I'm going to dimension it based on my measurements. I did a rough sketch on paper, 117 and 5 by 5. So I'm going to take this stick that I designed and I'm going to duplicate it because all my parts are going to be the same rough size. I'm going to change this to 20 millimeters. And then I am going to flip it 90 degrees by typing 90 here in the rotation and move it to the correct position. Now, this isn't the exact correct position. I want to make sure it's exact. So I'm going to select both objects and click the align tool and align center. And then I'm going to align the tops. Now you notice these two overlap, which means I've lost five millimeters here. In this case, it really doesn't matter, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. I can click on this and I can start dragging it this way. And I want to drag it five back, but you notice this also moves. So I'm just going to hit zero here to make sure it doesn't move in that direction. It's still centered. And there we go. Perfectly the way I want. Now I'm going to hit this and duplicate it. I'm going to drag it out here. And I'm going to rotate it up to the position I want. Now I want this on the platform and the trick for that is hitting D pops it right up onto the platform. I'm going to drag it to roughly the correct position. Now that looks good, but I don't know if that's actually right. And it's not if I rotate around. So I'm going to click on this block, click and hold shift on this block and use the align tool again. And I'm going to align them center, rotate so you can see align center. And then I am going to click on the block I don't want to move first. So this middle block and click a line there. And then I'm going to use that same trick and drag it out five millimeters this way. Make sure that's zero. Okay, looks great. Hmm. I look here and I notice that this isn't aligned up. So let's do that same trick. Let's duplicate it and let's move this straight across. How far? Well, I know it's 20 plus the five of the thickness. So I can just type in negative 25 here and make sure this is zero. That looks great. Now this does not look like I moved it correctly. I'm going to move it out again. Let me first group by holding shift and clicking on these three objects together. So they're all one group. Now I can select these and click the align tool and then line it up this way again. Now I'm going to use that same technique. I'm going to drag it out, but I'm going to type in the number I want here, which is five. Hit return and this is zero. Okay. Now it's perfectly aligned. Select both and group them. I now have my flower splint to save Mother's Day. This is the orientation I would have it on the platform to 3D print. However, when it's actually in the flower pot, I would have it upright like this, stuck into the soil, and this is the part I would hold up the decapitated flower. But that was not how I'm going to 3D print it, so I'm going to put it back and it's all ready to 3D print. Well, until next time, take the time to learn and create every day. Mm.